Hello, welcome to Angie B's house. And today I'm doing a review of a bathtub product that I purchased about five years ago. I did have it professionally installed, uh, but it's a review of the product. It's called Vicrell, V-I-K-R-E-L-L. -L, and it's uh, manufactured by Sterling Bath Products, which is a color company. And so, um, here we go. Okay, so this is the uh, tub surround and tub that I purchased. I uh, cannot tell from this angle. I'll zoom in here in just a moment. Uh, it's very attractive. However, the problem comes with cleaning it. And let's see if I can zoom in here and you can see what I'm talking about. So, um, I don't know if you can, it looks like you can see it. Uh, there is on the different individual molded look tile area you can see spots where uh, it's you know rather dirty and spots in the middle where it's not quite so dirty it's a little cleaner uh, my problem like I said is when it comes to cleaning it you can't get it clean it just does not clean. It's marketed as a product that it's easy to clean. Um, you know, you just have to wipe it down and you're good to go. It's pretty stuck and this is after I have used several different cleaners on it of their, at least of their recommended cleaners and it's just not coming clean. Um, let me go ahead and get you a shot of the tub itself. Okay, here is a close-up of the bottom of the tub and as you can see along the bottom how caked on the dirt and the soap scum is. Now some people might say that's because I don't clean my bathtub often enough, uh, but I do clean it regularly and it's just impossible to keep it clean. And I'll show you what I have resorted to get this cleaned. This is one of their recommended cleaners. It's fantastic, heavy duty, uh, scrubbing bubbles, and supposedly you're supposed to just be able to spray that on and wipe it off and it comes clean. Okay, well, here are my tools of choice. I've used a good amount of the product and I've used a scrubbing brush, which helps um, the bottom is textured and it really helps to be able to, or it gets in, in between the different textured areas. However, I have to keep spraying the product, spraying or spraying the cleaner, spraying the cleaner, spraying the cleaner. And I scrub it, it dries up, I have to spray some more, scrub it some more, and I've gotten it pretty clean so far. But on the sides, I've had to resort to using this. Uh, this is uh, actually an iron skillet scraper. It's kind of sort of like using a putty knife. I sit here and I just scrape, scrape, and scrape, and scrape, and scrape, and scrape, and scrape, and scrape. And as you can see, all that soap scum and build up on that um, that I've scraped off and as you can imagine this takes hours to get done to be able to do the whole entire tub from top to bottom and even if I were to clean the tub every single day because the soap scum and the water deposit stick to the product so strongly it it just takes that amount of effort to uh, get the product to, to, to get the soap scum and water deposit off and this is this is what it looks like I mean it feels kind of like the soft scrubbing cleanser it's soapy and it's gritty and it's just a pain in the butt to get it off. Well, there you have it, my review of the Krell Sterling Bath Products 
and I would not recommend this product to anyone. I have contacted customer service. Um, I could have probably contacted them several years ago, but I finally just got so disgusted and fed up with having to try to keep the tub clean when I really can't that I finally just decide to contact them. So we'll see what their response will be. But I did want to also get this out to uh, all my viewers so that if they're considering this particular product, they will make a better choice than what I did. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video, you find it useful, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Angie B with Angie B's House. You have a great day.